Syria's anti-Assad groups include councils and coalitions, foreign exiles and frontline fighters. All want to see the Syrian president prized from power, but does any one group speak for the others? Syria's opposition leaders mostly live in exile. They go to international meetings and hold a lot of press conferences. Formed in 2012, the National Coalition for Syrian Revolutionary and Opposition Forces was supposed to bring order to the divided anti-Assad movement. The coalition was itself created after the Syrian National Council failed to earn the respect of foreign backers or control troops on the ground. Recognized by some 100 governments, it now occupies Syria's seat at the Arab League and seeks arms and aid from international powers. But some rebels actually fighting the Assad regime inside Syria have now lost patience, saying the coalition has let the diplomatic situation drift dangerously. On the military side, little is clear. The Free Syrian Army has faced fierce government assaults and lacks heavy weapons of its own. Despite the ending of an EU arms embargo, only Saudi Arabia and Qatar are so far known to be arming the rebels. The fractured political leadership is mirrored on the ground, with small units loyal to local commanders rather than one cohesive force. Some of the most successful anti-Assad groups are jihadists, with one, the al-Nusra Front, openly declaring affiliation to al-Qaeda. International hopes for a solution in Syria depend on the emergence of a united political opposition. That unity and solution remain elusive.